videos? If so, you are not alone. Today I want to share a no fail bow tying trick that I have used several times with people who have never tied a bow before and it works perfectly every time. I'm Anna. I'm so glad you're here. Subscribe to my channel while you're here. Click below, click that little bell so you get notifications when I share new ideas. And let's take a look at this trick. So let's make a bow. What you need is, and I recommend starting with twine. Twine is a little bit easier than ribbon, but I'll show you both. So with twine, you're going to want probably about 10 to 12 inches. If you're using ribbon, especially larger ribbon, you're going to need more. With this size, I recommend about 15 to 18 inches. So it depends on what size of ribbon you're using, how much you're going to need. The larger it is, the more you will need. What you need to do is take that ribbon or twine, and you're going to make a loop in your right hand and a loop in your left hand with the little tail hanging down from each one. Now you are going to take, I like to cross the right one behind the left one, okay? And you're gonna tie this just like you would tie your shoestrings. You just have a loop that you're using instead of just an end of your string. So the left is behind the right, now I am putting that left loop down through this hole. It pulls up behind. And now we have to do a little situating. This little tail over here on the left, we need to bring it up and over, which it likes to do naturally on its own. It's very easy to make that happen. And then you just need to tighten it up and do a little fidgeting is what I like to call it. So tighten it up, pull those tails a little shorter. Once you have them shorter, pull it tight and you have a nice little bow. Now, let me show you with this bigger one. So this one, I think I have about probably 17 inches, but same idea, I'm going to make a loop in my right hand, a loop over here in my left hand. You want plenty of space in between because the more space you have in between, the easier it is to work with. So I have my little tails hanging down. Make sure your loops are straight, that your ribbon isn't twisted there in your fingers. Right one behind the left one, bring this left loop down and through that hole at the bottom. You're gonna start to tighten it, but this tail on the left wants to go up and over. So we get that straightened out. Then I just like to pull the tails. It looks like a mess right now. Start to tighten it up. And when you see it, now this loop over here on the left is good. This one on the right is a little bit twisted. So what I do before I tighten everything up is I just try to straighten it out. And when you do it without it twisted, it's pretty easy to do it. Okay, now it looks good. Now I am ready to tighten everything up. And I have a nice, perfect bow. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you've subscribed to my channel so you get tips when I share new things. I am so glad you've been here today and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.